now we are discussing a stray capacitance what is this stray capacitance we already had stray inductance stray inductance means unwanted inductance why this unwanted inductance is existing in our circuit we told we are using component leads whenever we use a resistor that resistor is having two leads whenever we are using some transistor that you will learn in later chapters the transistor has three leads whenever we connect a electronic component in a circuit to connect the electronic component we use the leads if we take the long leads then it may create the inductance which is not needed by us which is not expected by us so we are calling that inductance as a stray inductance now what is this stray capacitance in the similar lines when a capacitance in a circuit is observed without our expectation we don't want that capacitance but still capacitance is formed that unwanted and unexpected capacitance in the circuit is called as stray capacitance why this stray capacitance is formed why capacitance is formed in a circuit we will discuss so what is the this is a capacitor what is the what are the components required to form a capacitance two metallic plates and a dielectric material so if i take two metallic plates and in between those two metallic plates if i keep the dielectric material then capacitance is formed okay now i am taking two metallic plates in between these two metallic plates if i keep the air that is air, air dielectric capacitor when we connect a resistor in the circuit that resistor has two leads those are metallic leads so these two leads i am using very long leads because i am thinking that it is very easy to connect in the circuit we appreciate your thinking because long leads may easier to connect in the circuit but the problem here is in between these two metallic leads there is a air dielectric so these two metallic plates these two leads are behaving like metallic plates and air dielectric this forms capacitance and this capacitance is unwanted by us this capacitance is unexpected by us so we are thinking where this capacitance is formed then we are saying capacity to form a capacitance uh, the requirement is metallic plates and uh, dielectric that requirement is fulfilled automatically the capacitance is formed okay anyway this capacitance is formed what is the problem to us with this capacitance that is the real question we have to ask if there is no problem to us then we don't worry about that but if there is a problem with this then we have to worry now the problem with this capacitance is because this has the ability to store the electric field lines this capacitance says i am ready to store the electric field lines i am also there in the circuit give my portion to me this capacitance demands for the electric voltage and some amount of electric voltage will be supplied to this capacitance and we observe electric field lines are stored in this capacitor even though there is no capacitor this formation is acting like a capacitor this is interrupting our normal current flow whatever the current that has to be flown in the circuit there is a interruption in the normal current flow because of the interruption of the normal current flow whatever the output we are expecting there may be slight changes in the output we expect something and the result may come in the some other manner so this capacitance is making our circuit to operate in another way which we do not expect that's why we have to eliminate this capacitance okay uh, we are asking if you want to eliminate the any problem we have to eliminate from the root cause now we are asking what is the problem for this capacitance we are saying leads okay solution is simple remove the leads okay we are removing the leads then how to connect the resistor in the circuit uh, no way we find the solution to connect the resistor in the circuit okay if we take the leads then the problem of stray inductance and stray capacitance are coming okay then the solution is okay take the short leads if you want to use the leads take the short leads if we take the short leads sir capacitance stray capacitance is uh, null or stray capacitance is not observed no stray capacitance is observed but we are minimizing the effect so to minimize the effect we are taking the small leads 
this stray capacitance effect is considerable at high frequencies and it is negligible at low frequencies. So, if we are using a very long leads at low frequencies at 50 Hz like that, it can be okay, consider, it can be negligible. There is no need to mention stray capacitance. But if you are operating in a circuit where you want to send a signal to some satellite or to antenna, where which is located, which is far away from you, which is in the radio communication megahertz range, then stray capacitance says, I am already here. Your circuit, whatever way you want to operate, I will be there to interrupt you. At that time, we should carefully take the component leads very short. Whatever the lead you are using, whether that is electronic component or wire, that lead should be short to minimize the stray capacitance. So, we have told here, stray capacitance is an unwanted capacitance. Unwanted capacitance, why it is existing in the circuit? We are saying because of the component leads and wire leads. Then how to uh, eliminate this effect? There is no elimination, only we can minimize. How to minimize this effect? By taking the short leads. If we take the short lead, we can minimize. And at what frequency stray capacitance cannot be negligible? We have to consider it high frequencies. But at what frequencies it can be neg negligible? Low frequencies. Low frequencies. For example, uh, if there is a little brother in your house, uh, in your pocket there are 100 rupees. In that 100 rupees, without your mention, if he has taken some 10 rupees for purchasing something, then you are thinking, actually my parents have given 100 rupees to me. How these 10 rupees disappeared? You are thinking, where these 10 rupees are gone? At that moment, your little brother comes with some chocolate, so these are the 10 rupees. These are converted into another form. These 10 rupees are in chocolate form. Then at that moment, you shock. Next time when the 100 rupees is given to you, to he, again if he comes to minimize, if you give, okay, take this 1 rupee and 2 rupees, because you don't want to, you cannot, uh, you cannot nullify that. You are minimizing by giving 1 and 2 rupees. That's what we are doing. We are taking small leads and short leads to minimize the stray capacitance because this is unwanted by us.